Hey gang, so Reed Travelcraft asked this question you'll see on your screen right now, and he or she wanted me to talk about the damaged guitars I've had with the airlines. Okay, here we go. So, three guitars total. The first one was when I was traveling, I think I was traveling from Oslo to the northern part of Norway for a big homecoming show in the Arctic Circle where my family was from. We get off the plane and it was super duper obvious. The guitar, the case was open. The guitar looked like it had big bear claws taken out of it. It had obviously been thrown around and treated poorly. So I made a report right away and this theme will come back at the end. Make the report right away. You only have 24 hours, but you have to have someone inspect it at the airport. In this case, like I said, it was obvious, showed it to them, they're like, oh yeah, took note of it, filed a report, and went to the show. It would not stay in tune after that, but it was beat up. I had no choice. I didn't have anything else to use. I mean, I'm in the Arctic Circle, for God's sake. So that was the first one. And to get compensated for that guitar, I reached out to SAS Airlines over and over and over and over again for months. Finally, I wrote a song called SAS Means Smash All stuff, but I didn't use stuff. And I made a video and put it up on the web. The next day I got a call from them going, okay, what do you want to take down the video? I was like, I want a new guitar. I mean, pay for my guitar. And they were like, yeah, okay, no problem. So kudos to SAS. I finally guilted them into it and I got a new guitar out of it. So that was the first one. The second one is kind of unbelievable. You're, you're gonna be in shock about this one because out of all my musician friends from 30 years of being in this business, they say this one's the worst and they've seen it. So so I wanted a Delta style steel guitar. I mean steel, right? It's made out of steel. But in my case, I chose brass. So the entire body of the guitar was brass. It was a steel guitar made out of brass. The only thing wood was the neck. The first time I took it out on the road, and I am not kidding, this is the first time I flew with it, put it in its case, went off. I went to pick it up at Heathrow, and it wasn't there. And I'm like, uh-oh, this is not a good sign. So I waited and waited and waited. I think I was about 40 minutes late, made me late to meet my car and everything. The foolish thing was I didn't open up the case to look at it. Why is that important? Because there was a dent this big. I am not kidding you. It was this big and it was this deep in the side of the brass body, the brass body. They damaged a steel guitar, like it, and I didn't make the, this is the theme, I didn't make the report at the airport, I made it like, I think I made it within 24 hours because I found out when I got back to my flat and I was like, oh my God, look at this thing. In fact, it was someone else who pointed it out to me, like a friend of mine, one of my bandmates was like, hey, do you notice this thing? And I was like, oh my God. And it, they ruined the cone because you know, it's got a resonator cone. Anyway, so that one took me a year. Yes, a year to finally get compensated for. It was, that was just unbelievable. A steel guitar. They would have had to have swung it like a baseball bat up against a pole on purpose, which maybe that's what they did, to damage it the way they did. So that was number two. Number three was very recently, I had, this is kind of unreal too, like I wanted a loud and guitar, a loud and acoustic guitar for a long time. So I finally found one on Denmark Street two days before I was leaving London to come back to Nashville. I bought it, those guys, God bless them, at No Tom Guitar, No Tom, they're my guys. They wrapped it up, packaged it, taped it, Added it, did everything they could to put it in the case to make it ready to go on the plane. But this time I'm flying home. So just because I'm flying into Nashville doesn't mean I'm just gonna grab my guitar and go. Oh no, I've learned my lesson. I open it up, the pickup has been ripped out of it. Like it's obviously been thrown around a lot. It's got some dings that was opened, you know, for the TSA inspection. I don't know what they think we're putting in these guitars. 
but it was damaged. Made a report on the spot. They came and checked out. You know, the people looked at it and were like, oh yeah, this is pretty messed up. I mean, for once, bless their little hearts, as we say here in Nashville. And we got it taken care of, but still that took about six months to get the money back for the repairs. But I did get reimbursed eventually. So those are my three tales about damage on the airplane. Again, Check your guitar every time you land. Open the case, inspect it carefully. If there's something wrong, you have to make a report right then and there and make someone come and take a look at it and make sure that the report is filed. Stuff is going to happen. Hopefully not to you, but file a report right away if it does.